With climate uncertainty and extreme weather expected to get worse in the future, agriculture and food production are more vulnerable than ever. This puts our food supply, ecosystems, and farmers' incomes at risk. This is a challenge that the seed sector faces every day and one that it constantly seeks to find solutions for. In this episode of Stories from the Ground, we will hear how plant breeding innovations are helping vegetable growers adapt to the pressures of a changing climate. Vegetables are an important source of nutrients and an essential part of diets and cuisines around the world. Growing them is also good for farmers, a valuable source of income, and healthy food for the table. But climate change is already affecting crop production in many parts of the world, and vegetables are no exemption. That is why developing varieties that are resilient to current and future climate shocks is one of the most important adaptation measures we can take. Robert Osvein has been a carrot breeder for 22 years, and he knows that climate change is a real concern for growers. My name is Robert Osvein. I'm a carrot breeder for BSF. It's a challenge for growers, for companies, for almost everybody, and I think uh, our role as a seed company, it's important that we try to provide solutions to some extent uh, so that we can cope to some extent also for the future with the challenges that come with it. Now, of course, we cannot change things overnight. Breeding is a very long process, as everybody knows. Uh, so we cannot uh, uh, provide options next year or so. And I think uh, that's crucial, especially in a crop like carrots. Uh, what we try to do is uh, to come up with varieties that uh, have good resistances to major diseases which may change due to uh, climate change. Crops that are resistant to diseases are a major goal for many plant breeders like Robert. He works to make sure that farmers have access to seeds that are resistant to diseases and germinate well. Well, this is a clear example, the variety called Brilliant. And this is in a scenario where the drilling density was very high and indeed the germination was also very high which means that uh, you have very small carrots here and they are still very young that's also why they look uh, still pointy and uh, indeed uh, this is one of the examples of a variety that is very strong on powdery mildew so uh, in uh, years like this where that is really uh, an important disease this can withstand quite well. In many parts of the world, predicting rainfall has become a trickier task. Scientists believe that global warming has increased the intensity and frequency of precipitation, causing flooding in some areas. In others, the lack of rainfall results in long periods of drought. In Kenya, for example, Farmers are finding it more difficult to grow beans, a major food crop, because of more unpredictable rain. Claudia Borbola explains how better varieties provide the solution. The climate conditions have been more and more erratic, more and more unpredictable, and the growers need to deal with it. So they have been losing their crop uh, due to um, having too hot or too dry or too rainy seasons and we really need to focus on getting the right varieties which are strong uh, with the right resistances such as rust resistance and who can deliver yield across uh, all the season. So imagine all these uh, families working on the field um, talking about half an acre, one acre. They are hand harvesting the beans so they go back every second day and they pick the beans and every day they need to make enough so that they are paid the amount to feed the whole family and uh, that children can go to school. This is our role as well, to, to help them fight against climate change, to help them having a healthy income and that uh, families have good 
eating good dinner on the table and children can go to school. A huge part of being a farmer is managing risk. Not only weather, but disease outbreak can spell the difference between harvest or no harvest, income or loss. Cauliflower breeder Yevgeny Novoselov explains how diseases like club root can devastate farmers. So basically, uh, it's a question whether a grower will end up with the harvest or not. It can be seen as the reduction of the yield or the part of the reduction in the, uh, of the yield. But what happens uh, in most of the cases when club root is, uh, um, is really present on the production side, the crop will not come up to the harvestable stage. So basically you speak whether you will end up with the harvest or not. So this is what we see uh, yeah, in many production pockets worldwide, starting from Europe and ending up in, uh, in North or in South America. For farmers, good seeds could be the best insurance they can get in managing risks that only get worse with climate change. Professional level, of course, it's uh, having this variety fits in, um, in the calculation plan of the grower, so he can rely on it. And so basically, it's in a way, it's an um, um, insurance which can be used by grower, uh, uh, knowing that the variety um, will back him up with, uh, 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 with this resistance. Part of being a plant breeder is understanding consumer behavior, how we like our vegetables, how we eat and enjoy them. How much of it goes to waste is also a problem. For Leszek Klimczak, cutting food loss in cauliflower starts with keeping their white color for a longer time. So looking on the, on the changes, big changes in the weather conditions, um, and knowing that the self-protection is the key trait for the cauliflower growers, we started to develop the additional trait called new white or permanent white to give the extra security to the farmers. Because if the weather is changing very fast, you never know, sometimes your crop is open, head is exposed to the sun, and the grower losing the quality and cannot sell the cauliflowers later on the, on the market. So having this trade in cauliflower, you secure that your head color will remain still the same, even when the head is, is open. And in the end of the day, it's giving more security to the growers and also increasing the profit. So this is the one of the varieties which we developed in last few years called Alderan, which having this trait already in. Aside from cutting laws at the farm gate with innovative traits, we must find better ways to use resources like soil and water in producing food. At a hydroponics research center in the Netherlands, plant scientists are finding clever ways to produce lettuce in a more resource efficient way. Bauke van Lenteren has been specialized in leafy vegetables for 16 years. She explains how technologies like protected cultivation can help farmers mitigate the risks resulting from unpredictable weather. My name is uh, Bauke van Lenteren and uh, I work uh, 16 years in Rijkswaan as a uh, convenience and uh, leafy greens specialist. Um, I think climate change is also the reason behind uh, anything we do in this greenhouse. Uh, we see a lot of uh, increase still in leafy salad production around the world. It, it's what makes your plate green and your sandwich uh, interesting. Uh, but we do see um, flooding, heavy hailstorms, and it's not so easy to grow these nice salad crops outdoors in all locations in the world anymore. So we moved a part of our breeding programs indoors. It can be to adapt varieties uh, to climate change. It can be uh, very uh, simple solutions like making a variety more uh, upright. Yeah, so it's not touching the soil, so it's less sensitive for any soil-borne diseases or when it's more wet. But of course also uh, disease resistance yeah, to make sure that the plant also already is capable of fighting uh, disease or insect himself. And of course by changing also the way of, of, of growing, yeah, growing indoors, going to a protected crop uh, like on hydroponics.
These are just some examples of the innumerable ways that the seed sector is rallying against climate change. Resilience and climate solutions come in the form of plant breeding innovations that help farmers adapt to a changing climate and the resistances that help them win the race against pests and diseases, against unpredictable weather, against growingly scarce resources. All of this to enhance both quality and yield to achieve a more food secure world today and tomorrow.